Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at Melshek's heavy lift vehicle system. Now this is really cool because it uses the scissor lift sort of design to lift a cargo container, different ships, vehicles up to another level. And you're probably wondering why you would need that. Well, we've got a situation where we've got a blue ship over here that needs to load up a race car. Now, a race car? Why would we be loading up a race car? Maybe we're attending some sort of galactic race. Well, that, that's, that's the reason. But this ship never came fitted with some sort of cargo ramp, and this is as low as it can go to the ground. We could try lifting it up with a crane or other sort of items, or we could just copy and paste it in if we're in creative mode. But if we're going to do this in survival, we need a way of getting that little race car aboard there. We could turn the gravity off and possibly try to lift it with the ship itself. But in a natural gravity environment, that would be impossible. So let's get aboard this lifting vehicle and drive it into position. So we need to make sure the parking brakes off by pressing P and we can drive it in. You can see it's got a double sort of wheel turning system. So as one wheel turns one way, the other wheels at the back turn the opposite. So we can turn on a much tighter turning circle. Let's line this up. We need to be quite straight. Um, and that that's, that's not very straight at all, Larry. You need to fix this. And that, that seems to be good enough. So we need to lower and turn the parking brake on. Parking brake is now on. And then the second thing to do, lower these arms. Switch to spectator cam to give it a little bit of a better look. And then once that's into position, we can lock these arms with three. Locked in position. And to do the rest, we need to hop out and use the manual buttons on the side. So they divide these into different sorts of sections. At the front, we have the external little stabilizing lander gears. And in the middle, we have lift controls. So we're going to need to disable that lift before we raise it up. But before we do any of that, we're going to have to lower the rear ramp. So let's attempt to lower that. So we disengage the locks. And you can see how that ramp is actually folding out there in that very nice sort of pattern. Now to fit our larger car up there, we may have to do some modifications, take these side of panels off to make it go up a little bit faster. So let's quickly do that now. If you had a smaller car, you wouldn't really need to do this. And once that's out of the way, we can actually switch back to a six and go over to our little race car. Now, the reasons for having a race car and loading it up this way are quite, quite numerous. I mean, at the end of the day, it's one of their designs that's just a little bit of fun. It's not a super serious manner of it. It might work well on planets, but I'm sure there'd be other ways like cranes and other lift functions. So let's give it a little bit of speed. Up we go, up, we, up the ramp we go, full power. Oh, damn it, we've not made it. Maybe we've got too many gravity cubes working against us here. So let's actually st slow that down and turn off four of our mass cubes. So off we go. So we've balanced out the mass a little bit better, give it a little bit more power, up we go, and onto the ramp. Beautiful, perfect. Now we're going to disengage and put our parking brake on, and we can actually begin the lift system. So if we hover over the buttons, we can actually see what they do. So that's triggering the lift, powering it on, we need that, and that is going to lift the rails, and finally lower lift, so we need to press that one more time, and hit that button there. Have I turned it off? I've turned it off, haven't I? God damn it, Aaron. Okay, lock lift. Pat lift power on and off. Lift raise. Okay, so that's the one we should, but we've turned the power off perhaps. Oh, there we go. So, and there we go. The lift is now going up. So you can see from this angle, the scissor lift is activating and the car is being raised up to a suitable level. So there we go. What we need though is a ladder or something or else we just have to keep the person inside. Okay, so we'll have to jet pack up to that level and we'll hop aboard a little car and we can drive it aboard the ship. So Pete, and let's drive aboard, hopefully no problems. And the car is now aboard, we can dock that. We need some way of keeping this locked to the deck, so we'd have to use a connector or a merge block of some kind, and we can actually lower this down. So let's reverse this system now. Press that, ramp is coming down. You can see just the beautifulness of the scissor lift sort of design as then pistons are pushing out on that axle there, that then in turn pressures the scissor lift and raises or lowers it. Let's lock that back up into position. We can raise the rear door as well while we're at it and fold that away so let's go back to f8 and you can see how that ramp is folding away beautifully perfect and then a final little attempt lock that in place now we just need to tidy up our landing gears so unlock and we can raise them to the surface oh I'm memorizing these buttons really well now and with a little press of the parking brake, we should be able to drive our loading craft away quite safely. And the blue ship is now safe to take off to whatever racing championship that car needs to go on. But playing with this has given me an idea. I wonder if you can stack these on top of each other. 
we're gonna have to give that a go. So since we're in creative mode, we have the luxury of being able to actually copy and paste here. So let's copy and paste one level up and drop that down. So that is two trucks on each other. Should we dare to go with three? Let's put a third truck on top there. And we probably should have tested it to see if it worked with two first. Uh, give it a little bit more height and drop that down. Okay, that 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 top one's not very stable, but it, it should work. We'll be fine, everyone. Um, let's edit this. Okay, so disengaging that. The pistons are pushing as hard as they can, but oh, it's, it's raising up, and it's always oh, toppled over. That that didn't go too well. <gasps> wow, space engineers. Um, that, that, no, pistons are pistons are not happy. Clearly, they're clearly possessed and going completely crazy. Off that one goes. That one's seeking revenge. Then I hit this lift system. But look how stable that is. It's getting good and bit of knocking around. But them sort of statue legs are holding it in place. And the upper hydraulics and he's, he's just saying goodbye. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. It's been quite fun messing around with this scissor lift, and I'll see you next time.